Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is Crusader Kings 2. We're at Shattered India. Less shattered now. The kingdom of Kasala has grown so it's quickly. We made ourselves a king. And then we went, would you like to follow me? To a couple people. And then I realized that even more of them would. Because if they were Hindustani and Buddhist, they were like, you're, you're a Hindustani king. We quite like you. Mostly we're terrified of your power. And we don't have enough reasons to not join you. So we suddenly got to the point where we can almost create the kingdom of Delhi. Quite quickly. So now we're just seizing down this guy because one of our vassals has a claim. Yes. Yeah. Alright, the next one should collapse a lot quicker because temples have very little siege power. Siege power fortification is the technical term. Room of a traitor! Crushed the enemy's morale. Another chunk of gold. 99. Fine. So a squishes army rather than waiting. Victory! Splat! We captured a person. Captured your wife! Yes, you will give me ten gold. Yay! Off a piece, yes. You are now... a double count, much to your happiness. War with someone else? No. no. Someone else must have had a bit of war with something. I don't have any war pop ups. So, you are now a double count and we'll get plus my claim, plus 100 for many, many years. 20 years. I'll be very happy with the fact that I made him a double count. Which is good for everyone, really. And that'll just help. Marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Second wife. 43. Three weak claims can be pushed. Interesting. Let us. Military. Stand down. Oh, it's a little bastard. That's, that's why. Um, so you can see some of them are pretty pissed, but they're all mares who I don't really care about. Oh, I have unlanded sons. And maybe might be sneezing? No, it's going to be one of those lingering ones. They're going to catch me out, and you're going to have to hear it. Love strange. Oh, hang on a sec. Nope. No, no, none of the sneezing. Claim that one, and for a woman whose husband is not um, enthroned. So you have lowborns rattling around. Claim this place for another lowborn woman. I mean, you wouldn't like me for doing that, but you're not part of anyone's. I could push that claim that she'd just become an independent leader of that place. What I want is for her or her husband to be landed um, inside my realm, and then when I take territory on their behalf, they automatically become part of my character, part of my territory. And again with these ones. So you have claims. You better have a strong claim. All the way up there. That's quite far away. That would take me quite a while to walk my army up that way. Many much on the match of subjugation, which I don't have enough karma for. Subjugation, subjugation, subjugation. No, I do have a claim on that one. Subjugation. Subjugation, subjugation. Ooh, claim dark hand. On whose behalf? You. Fair enough. Again, saying doesn't have a claim. Claim Rothas. On behalf of you. Nope. Uh, me. Claim Magda. Nope. Lots of subjugations. You know, Delhi's where I'm actually interested. Being able to form the Kingdom of Delhi would be highly interesting to me. No. More prestige. Prestige is good. Grab the province. Grab the kingdom. Can't create it because we are one short. We need 51 percent. All right then. We have a fair bit of cash. Look at spending it. Can't create a new tank because I need castle walls too. Okay. 
Any other place I can improve? Yes, there's another castle town. Probably go do the one that's inside my key duchy first, because I didn't get the bonuses. My son has asked me for a fee. So I will promise to arrange it. Fair enough. You, grant landed title. Oh, hold on. It's in the next one across. I should essentially be able to immediately reappoint the man. There. The, um, I don't think you can hear that or not, but uh, the mongoose has decided the best way to relieve the gas is through farting. Um, the poor little sod does get quite gassy. Um, and he gets an adorable look of concentration on his face. He's just, he's very, very, very determined that every single fart is going to be a strong, stringent, and powerful one. Alright, so. You apparently. I thought you had more allies. Oh, a truce break, apparently. A truce with you. That's disappointing. I have several truces. Eight two three. It lasts ages. It's annoying. That's a claim I can push. Apparently, I've already picked on you once already. Yeah, oh, yes, because I took that territory off you, or one of them anyway. Kicked him in the ass. All right. With that in mind, we should probably just speed things up a fair bit. Vassal has created the Raja crew. We have our first subduke. Ah, interesting. Yes. Because you had so Kuru consists of those three territories, which means we now have a de jure claim on you. And yes, you do have a strong claim on that, but de jure claim on Delhi. Thank you very much, my vassal. So essentially, because that province should be part of my territory, um, because my vassal duke claims it. He's not interested in doing it because false religion really doesn't like me. Instead, I will be declaring war on him. He's going to bring in a couple of minor allies. I will bring in a couple of minor allies. Done. And my this will become quite a powerful duke because he will own all three of those provinces. Military. Rise, my pretties. Now I'm going to bring everyone in. Um, because I want to make sure that we win. Yes, you should pay what we sell for. So we're going to get some minor kill the time flanking battles as some of my troops get jumped as they rally. But that's not too much of a concern. Just gather everybody up. Still waiting for them to gather up. And uh, that is the sign that I have picked off more than I can too. <laughs> um, that is a Holy War army. It currently doesn't have a lot of morale. And is coming to try and attack me in the plains. 8th of March, so in a month. Now I suspect that its morale is going to go up quite a bit in the intervening time. Military, holy orders. Do not have enough karma to hire them, they would be expensive. Because I'm not defending in this kind of war. Not all I can do. And I don't have enough money to hire a mercenary band, even for the one large enough. Okay. Right. Hmm. So this one looks like a war we might be losing. What happens if I were to offer you white piece surrender? I lose 500 gold. Huh. No, thank you. All right, now these are free, and will infinitely reinforce. So we need. All right, you will arrive on the eighth. Plains, jungle. Let's put myself in command. You on that flank, you on that flank. 
we ideally need to be somewhere else. Uh, looking for some with hills, ideally, but I will say 19th of February, 1st of March. Let's get out of there and cross the Ganges. And give him a slightly extra penalty to having to engage me. Yep, yeah, you, uh, you get crushed like that. You're going to do that. I am going to go around and pick off that army. You can sit there and take the long time. Yeah, you're assaulting, which just means more of your troops die. Yes, I lose cash. But I don't mind too much, as long as you just can sit there for a little bit longer and carry on assaulting places and just don't bother noticing that I'm over here jobbing your allies. Yep, he is arriving, but I think that battle lifted the siege. Alright, got 23 war score. I would like to be over there, thank you very much. I will be there. My army will arrive on the 24th of June. He will be there on the 17th. This territory is plains. There is no river crossing. I am quite badly outnumbered, but I have got some war score. So, best thing to probably do would be trying to bolt to coal. Order a flea. Yeah, we are going to lose troops, but there's not much point hanging around. And then I am going to. I stand it down. All right, eleventh, eleventh of July, twenty-sixth, twentieth, twenty-eighth, twenty-first. I'm going to hold my ground here because I know he's going to take a big penalty crossing the Ganges, so I will be able to do more damage to him. I'll just take a big penalty. Minus thirty on lots of things. But then, of course, the actual engagement happens and his huge numbers kick into play. Yep, yeah, that was a big loss. Alright. Let's stand these armies down. And let him rattle around my territory for a little bit. Hmm. Possible solutions. Not many, I'm afraid. Call them in. Yep, yep, thank you very much for honoring your, your uh, obligations. Okay. Alright, no, no, there are many, many things that have to be true before I can become that one. He's going to have 500 armies. He is basically just going to be keep mashing these guys in my face for quite a while. Um, no, I am going to have to surrender. That's embarrassing. Now we are very badly bankrupt. Yes, we can indeed push that claim. We'll have to do that much later. So, the next bit of time is going to be basically involved desperately trying to not be hideously, hideously ruined with massive budget deficit. Oh, that's a painful loss. Hmm. Fortunately, we don't have any factions. Change religious grants. Divide the Holy Man to court. Intrigued. No known prisoners to sell. Buddy deposits. 
And the longer it's going, the more corruption criminals will play your country, which will take it's just massive malices to everything. That's disappointing. So you apparently were able to pull in. Ha, and you got this big bonus as well. Stand that out with the Yeah, and the game master. Yeah, you were an unpleasant person, aren't you? I have the pot power to kill him. I think we'll be coming around to you at a later date then. Because I don't know how often they get. Because I can't see. To my knowledge, enemy holy orders. Demands, realm, families, religion, characters, dynasty, direct vassals, all vassals, court, independent states, wars, titles, claimants, demands, realm, levy, religions, characters, gold, precision, piety, my dynasty, the vassals, all the vassals, my court. Independent states, though, to my knowledge, doesn't include the religious orders. So previously, when I tried to pick on one of those guys, previously we had a thing where they all turned up and all went horribly, horribly wrong. Previously, 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 previously. When I did it again, they were busy, which kind of implies that that Jane army. was somewhere else under an employ of someone else. So there's a holy order, the Jane, that's seven and a half thousand folk. You need to mark Doesn't surprise me, given how badly we got our asses kicked. Oh, another genius. Let's see? Yes, I know we can press to your Google claim, but I suspect we have a choice. Also, bankrupt. And I suspect he really hates me now. Your area of a distant dynasty. And also Jane. Kill him? Yeah. Disappointing. Alright, well it looks like we'll be um hoping that the country doesn't go hideously to arse. Um Brown Tree. Who's pissed? Nearly nobody. You are, apparently. Mayor of Chuck. Which is in this place. Alright. Okay, so I would like you to approve that. So, if we go to religious map mode, and then try to overlap the Kingdom of Delhi, all of the provinces that I want are Jane. Drat. That's it. Not entirely. So, religious map mode. Delhi. Chemi de Jour Delhi. So there's a couple over here. But are not. They're instead Hindustani. Possibly just obviously a bit of a problem. They are Hindu. But I'm bankrupt. <laughs> so we're just going to run time really, really quickly. Mastermind theologian for a daughter. It's good to see. My youngest daughter. She's the title of Brother. Over there. It's reasonably close to my borders. Absolutely, I want it, wasn't it? Your wife is dead, you're 44, you've already got kids. So, no. uh, that wouldn't get us anywhere.
Yeah, you'll do. Send. Yep. That over there. Fine. We are still utterly bankrupt. Curious about the visitors. Gregarious. It's getting better and better, boy. This is going up by 10 a month, which means it'll be about 20 or so months and we're no longer be bankrupt. And unfortunately, it's not like we've got any, any catastrophic events that kicked in. No negative ones. So we are just spinning time on here. While we desperately wait. So with that in mind, I'll just pause it here. Yay! Buddhist faith. So, that's our territory. So, uh, proselytize. So, you're in my territory. So, set to work. And with that, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Marmoset, and we are playing Crusader King 2 with the Shattered India campaign. We are now Kasala. We are the biggest fish in the world, the known world. Pretty much. I mean, we simply, not necessarily the biggest name. I think Kipchak's not the biggest name, or Kola, but that's a very large single province over there. Or Ithil, maybe. But we are a king. A bankrupt king, because we picked a fight with the Jain, and a very large number of them came rolling across the border and set fire to our capital. A lot. So we ran away and hid. We'll be back for them later, but for now, thank you very much for watching.